In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create animated three option slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you uh, the title and the detailed text here with the white background. And then I've given us some cutout effect and then kind of a ribbon or uh, extended text. I've put where option one along with the icon. So when I click with a different color combination, it will show me the option two and the option three. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the, with the help of this QR code and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray background. Then go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle. Draw the rounded corner rectangle, maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and you can see this small orange uh, point just drag this outside so it becomes a uh, less curved from the corners all right and then shape fill i'm going to fill this with white all right now i'm going to add one more rectangle here so select this rectangle all right and then i'm just going to give kind of a is a cutout look all right and then i'm just going to put it exactly in the center all right shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give the color which is the background color all right and then you can give some uh, shadow effect for this for that right mouse click go to format shape and from the uh, effects go to shadows and here i'm going to choose which is the inside right so it looks something like this okay then go to insert shapes from the rectangles again i'm going to choose this one which is rectangle top corners rounded just draw it like this and rotate i'm going to make it rotate right 90 degrees and you can see the small orange point drag this inside so it becomes fully curved all right and then shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to place it something like this here in the center all right again depending on the requirement how much size you need to increase you can adjust that one so i'm just going to put it exactly in the center something like this all right then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape in the extreme right and hold the shift key so that you get a perfect circle all right shape outline make it white color and shape fill the same color which is at the background okay and exactly put it like this and then for this also i'm going to give the same shadow effect here which looks something like this all right then go to insert icons you can add any icon of your choice let me just insert this icon i can make the height and width as 0.6 and just place this over here all right and then i'm going to add one more rectangle and before that one what i'm going to do is let me just give the color for this one so what color i'm going to give i can select some gradient fill and uh, because i have used this color in the past so that's the reason it is coming so let me just delete these colors i don't need these colors so one color i'm going to use here which is a somewhat kind of a purple a dark purple click ok and then i'm going to add one more and here i'm going to add somewhat light purple all right somewhat light and then here the third one which is more lighter all right so it looks something like this then i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to change the shape for that go to shape format edit shape and change shape i'm going to make this one which is the rectangle all right then reduce the size and i'm going to put it here okay to look like a folded shape and here let me just add one more gradient stop okay here i'm going to add a dark color here okay you can see here one light again a dark so it looks something like this all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is go to insert text box i'm going to type option one here all right center align make it bold or you can use it the font which is the futura i can make it the bold make it the white font white color increase the size put it in the center and this color also i'm going to use the same color which i've used for this uh, the dark purple and here go to insert text box and i'm going to type a uh, title here 
again center align i'm going to give the same font which is the dark purple the same futura bold all right put it here exactly in the center then go to insert text box and say equals lo rem within bracket one and i'm going to give some text i don't need this much big text so reduce the text again the font color i'm going to make it light purple color and put it in the center and that's it so our design the first option design is ready now it's time to do the grouping to do the grouping i'm going to group uh, this text so first select this text hold the shift key select this one this one and the oval shape okay these four options and press ctrl g to group it and then send this to back okay uh, like that so for this one you don't need to select you should not select that one and for this one i'm going to select this one this one this and this and press ctrl g again and then send this to back all right so now let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane first of all i'm going to select this one add animation go to more entrance effects either you can use the wipe effect or you can use the stretch effect so i'm going to use the stretch click ok and the stretch i'm going to make it from right all right and then i'm going to select this one and i'm going to give a wipe effect wipe effect make it from the right and it should happen after previous and for this one i'm going to give the stretch effect so again i'm going to select this one animation painter click on this so now the effect options you need to do from left and it should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this all right so it's not easy for me to copy these options so let me just select all hold the ctrl shift key drag the bottom and one more and then if the space is not enough just align it properly all right now once this is done you can simply go and change these colors so again i can go right mouse click go to format shape and i can choose any color as i want for example i'm going to use some dark blue here then i'm going to use uh, some light blue and some more lighter maybe this color and click ok and here also i'm going to do the same thing or you can select this one animation painter sorry the format painter and click on this all right and then you just need to add one more stop the way we did before and this option two i'm going to change it and this icon you can change the icon you can go to the graphic format change graphics from icons and i'm going to choose maybe this icon click insert and color i'm going to make it blue and here also this also i'm going to make it a dark blue and somewhat lighter blue color all right the animations are already there so if i play it comes like this so you can see here option one option two and option three option three also you can just give the color of your choice 